Hi guys, welcome to my channel if you're new here or welcome back. My name's Debbie if you don't know me and today's video is going to be a little bit of a chatty get ready with me. I'm getting ready for work, just going to do an eye look on camera with you and I'm going to be using a palette that I've had in my collection for a little while and this is a bit of a common theme. I've got a few palettes that I need to get round to showing you guys on camera, maybe giving you some inspiration for an eye look you can do with them. But they're not new things that are out, so I'm not gonna call it a first impressions. It's just really, just be having a bit of a play time with these palettes, and I will give you some thoughts as I go along, of course. But the palette I'm talking about today is this one. So it's the Spectral by Linda Halberg. And I originally thought to myself, it's not too late to do this now because it's the colors are a bit springtime, summer-like or whatever, which is when it came out. but I put on this dress today and I thought to myself, what palette have I got that kind of matches the vibe of what I'm wearing, because that's what I do. And then I thought, actually, there's some colours in here that would work quite well. So particularly the occult shade, I think I'm going to make that the focus of my look. And I think I'm probably going to do a bit of a halo eye and try and bring in some glitz with the silver, which is called Illusion. So... We'll see how that goes. I don't really know much about the formula of the, the more glittery ones. I've used the Infinity Deep and the Infinity Light palettes a lot. I've used the Infinity Deep on camera. I use the Light or the original Infinity all the time. It's in my brows right now, but I don't know so much about the shimmery formula so much. So we're gonna find out together what I think of that. So I'm just gonna scooch you in and we'll get started and create an eye look using this palette. Okay, so we're gonna start with the occult shade and I'm gonna build that up in the outer and inner corners. I'm using the Linda Halberg 303 brush. So do you guys have these brushes from Linda Halberg? I really love this particular one. So it's nice and small and you can use it as a packing brush, but it also is fluffy enough to blend out, so got two of these and I could do with more of them really because I like to use a clean brush whenever I do an eye look so I recommend this one particularly for detail work and for those of you that have maybe got smaller eyes as well it's a good one it's not as fluffy as perhaps a lot of blending brushes but it does make it versatile in terms of you can use it as a packing brush as well so it's good for that. So it's gonna look quite messy to start with because all I'm doing is just packing on the pigment at the moment and trying to create a bit of a rounded kind of eye shape. So that's what we're doing right now. I would say halo eyes are the look that I do least on my channel maybe. I've been doing a few of them just lately in my own time because it's not one of the things that I'm probably the best at, so I don't like to be beaten, so <laughs> I'm going to do more of them and try and perfect my technique on them. The issue I have is knowing whether to close in the top or not, which I think I will, but only with a dusting of the colour, so I'll make the, the pigment stronger here, or I might close in the top using the pink or the purple so that it's got a bit of interest in the top line there. But that pigment is packing on beautifully and it's such a gorgeous tone and the perfect tone for my dress, so I'm not mad at that. So, I didn't film at all this weekend. What did you guys get up to? <laughs> I spent Friday night trying to get a certain palette. I'm sure we all know which one I'm talking about. Beauty Bay had a complete and utter meltdown. And I was having a complete and utter meltdown, if I'm honest. I literally spent two and a half hours refreshing the website page and getting more and more determined to try and get this particular item. And I'm going to talk about it when I film with it. It should arrive on Tuesday, I think. I was in such a rush to, to get it once I finally got through to the site. I forgot to do expedited shipping. That's typical Debbie. And to be honest, I didn't want to spend another £9.95 in any case. So, hopefully I'll get that on Tuesday. I'm, of course, talking about the Jeffree Star Conspiracy and Mini Controversy palettes. I feel very fortunate to have got them because it was a complete nightmare on all sites and it literally broke the internet. So, 
I just somehow finally just kept refreshing and I've had it in my cart since five and then a quarter past seven I was able to check it out but I was literally so stressed after that I didn't really do anything else Friday evening it kind of like affected my whole evening really but I'm so happy I managed to get it because I've picked up every release pretty much on release day apart from the beauty killer which I was a little bit late to the party with that but everything else I picked up on release day so from beauty bay so that's all I did on Friday and then Saturday was all about starting some Christmas shopping I know it's a bit early but I'm going away a week before Christmas so need to get on it need to start getting it all done so that I can get stuff out to people and just not feel too stressed before my holiday because work's quite busy as well so it's like weekends are really the only time I've got the energy to go shopping so so yeah did some Christmas shopping and then this is I believe purely a UK thing but it was bonfire night Guy Fawkes night and the tradition in the UK is to either have fireworks in your garden although I think that's dying out as a trend and I'm really glad about that because I really worry about how it impacts animals. My cats don't seem to be particularly bothered but I know a lot of people have been posting on my Facebook saying that how upset their uh, dogs were at the sound of the fireworks going off. Just going to blend that now. So uh, just taking a bigger brush, this is a 304 lot fluffier brush just to diffuse those edges so um, we went to an organized bonfire display and fireworks that are all like choreographed to music as such the display was incredible it always is it's organized by the local scout group but it's a massive park in Rushton where I live Hall Park and it it's the best place to go and see them in the area I think and they opened the ceremony in the pouring rain but there was probably less people than I've seen there in the past but still the park was pretty busy and then we go back to my goddaughter's grandparents and have chili and hot dogs and jacket spuds with cheese and onions in them which I love and oh just really yummy sort of firework food so that was lovely and it's just lovely to see them because we don't see them too often and yesterday had one of over took her to Rushton Lakes which is our local shopping area took her for coffee there took her to Marks and Spencers that'll be one if you're from the US you're perhaps not not aware of but it's an institution in the UK it's a clothes shop sells beauty sells food as well couldn't get more British than m and and I love m and but my mum loves it and it's closed down in her town she lives nor nearer to Northampton which is about 15 miles away from where I live but it's only five miles from where she lives so she being a pensioner she has a bus pass she goes into town and she used to love m and there was a cafe there she could see her friends there but it's closed down so I wanted to give her the chance to go and look at some stuff and get some presents as, as well for herself for her friends so we did that and then cooked dinner for her it's been a lovely relaxing weekend it's been nice okay I'm gonna I think I am gonna close in the top of that halo I'm either gonna use eerie which is the purple or unknown which is the pink and I'm, hmm, I think I might go purple because I want to keep this quite a smoky dark sort of look I think so we're going to go in with Eerie. I'm going to use quite a fluffy brush. This is a crown brush, the Deluxe Blending. You've got one of these, which I've got more. This is a fantastic blending brush. I love this one. Yeah, I think that's going to work quite well because it's not going to close the eye in too much, but it's going to just, just help me to blend those shades, but also give me a little bit of interest in the look as well. Yep, quite like that. I think I'll close the eye shape in with that but also blend around the edges a little bit with it as well. I'm really enjoying these shades so far. I think they blend pretty well but they've got a 
good amount of pigment, definitely that occult shade. I knew I'd love the occult shade, it's why I wanted the palette. I think for a lot of people they wanted it because it's quite pastel and it's got those glittery shades. I always want them for the grungy, darker shades because that's kind of more my vibe in makeup. But that purple is going really nicely with that occult shade. I might need to build the pigment up again in the outer corners because I've blended quite a bit and I want it to be strong but but no I think I made the right decision and not using the pink. Yeah so I'm going to go back in and just intensify that pigment to be as strong as I can in the outer and inner corners and then I think what I'll use is the pink to give us a blend before I put the shimmer in the centre. I'm going to take the pink now I'm going to take unknown so the pastel pink in the palette. I've got a little Real technique smudge brush. I'm going to use that because I don't want too much of that colour to be shown in the look but I'm just going to use that just to fade the inner edges of that occult shade. But actually I might use that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it across the whole of the lid because I think it will make a nice base for that silver. The illusion shade that I intend to use in the middle. These have got a lot of pigment in them, like for a pastel pink. That is laying down really nicely and it's not on a white base or anything like that, it's just my normal like painterly paint pot which doesn't make the shades pop all that much really. I just like it because it makes them go on quite smooth but it's not as popping as say the NYX Jumbo Pencil. And yet that's showing up beautiful. I could leave it like that to be honest, but I really want to try that illusion shade. Mix glitter primer and a concealer type brush. It's the cream colour brush E39 by Sigma, but it doesn't matter what brush for that really. I'm just going to pop a little bit of glitter glue in the centre, so I don't want it to go too far, so that's literally the halo in the middle. Seems weird putting glitter glue over the top of a shade. I don't do that very often, so and it seems to be working all right. Right, now for the illusion shade, which is one I'm most nervous about trying, because I've heard that it's very sheer and quite fallout heavy, so we will see how we go with that. But going in with the Moon Dust brush by Urban Decay, which is a good one for these glittery topper kind of shades. Got a fair bit of pigment on that brush though. That looks all right. I think we're going to be okay. Just going to pat that on. I think you would definitely need glitter glue with a shade like this, but that's not surprising when it is a, a glittery kind of shade, but that's going on nice as a halo in the middle. And I'm not getting any fallout at all, really. I think... It wouldn't adhere though unless you'd got a glitter primer. It's that sort of formula that is like a a loose kind of shimmer. I wouldn't say it's a pressed glitter, it's definitely not that, but it's a it's not a a hard pressed foil kind of shade. It's more more of a topper, but it's definitely opaque enough. I mean that's that's coming out beautiful. Alright, I have got a little bit of fallout now from that shade. I think it's because I've carried on packing it and packing it and I've run out sort of glitter glue now for it to adhere to. But it certainly looks intense. Okay, I'm going back in with the pink, the unknown shade, just to blend over those edges a little and just make sure the pink is showing a little bit in the look. Back in with my eerie shade, the purple, just in my crease, just to stop that halo going too high because I don't want it going right up into my crease. I think I want to have a nice bright open eye so I'm going to go in with a white eyeliner. This is White Core by Linda Halberg. I'm trying to keep it all in the Linda Halberg family here. So that one's going in my waterline. Wow, have you ever seen a more <laughs> bright and intense white? Wow. So um that was my weekend guys. I did upload a couple of videos though. Don't know if you've seen them. I'll link them 
in the cards if you're interested to see them. One of them with the Melt Cosmetics Smoke Sessions palette, which I've again had for a long time and I just hadn't found the, the chance to film with it really. And spoiler alert, absolutely love that one. I knew I would because green is totally my jam, like those murky sort of grungy greens particularly. So I love that. And then I've already used the Ace Beauté Classical Paradise and Flare palettes for any excuse to use those because they're pretty much my favourites in my collection right now. I wanted to use those and I did an eye look inspired by some nature in the pocket park where I walk at lunch times. I just took a picture and the colours in that just inspired me. So I thought, oh, I know what palette I can use for that. So I'm finding it easier for me if I film in the week before work pretty much and then edit on the weekend I think it's finding what works for you as an individual for YouTube particularly when you're working full time I thought filming at the weekends would work but I kind of like having my weekends to watch YouTube and to just chill a bit but I can watch YouTube and edit at the same time so I've kind of been doing that catching up on my faves and watching the uh, Will I Buy It's Angelica's and um, Amy's which I love to watch on a Sunday I can do that and still edit at the same time or edit on a Saturday morning and watch some of the videos that have gone up in the week so that's what I did this week and it definitely worked for me Right, that's pretty much the eye look right now. I'm going to hop off camera, I'm going to do my eyeliner, um, might just do a little mini wing just to balance things out a little bit and it'll look less crazy when I've got some mascara on my bottom lashes because that white is so intense. Wow. Uh, I'm going to choose a lip for the look and then I'll be right back with you just to wrap up my thoughts on the shades I've used and wrap up the video. Right, okay guys, so here's the finished look. Not turned up very halo. I've got a little bit of halo left. I kind of blended all of the, the halo away, trying to correct my mistake where I've gone a little bit too high with the glitter glue. So that's totally my error there. But my thoughts on the shades, I think the occult shade is absolutely gorgeous. I think I just blended it away too much with the purple eerie shade um, and then bought too much of a, a focus of purple and pink in there. That pink shade's pretty though, that unknown shade that I packed on my lid first before I put the, the glittery shade on Illusion. Illusion is super pretty, but you will need a glitter glue. As soon as I'd like packed too much on and it started to sort of go over the edges of the glitter glue, I was getting fallout. So really happy with the, the shades that I've chosen in this look. I haven't obviously chosen or used, should I say, all the others. I'm interested to do a look more in the blues and greens, so kind of this triangle there and do something a bit more graphic, maybe with that blue as the focus. So let me know if you'd like to see that. But today's look was paired with a Linda Halberg lipstick. This one's one of the fantastic lipsticks. Love them because they're glossy, but they're a bit more long wearing than a lip gloss. And I've got five of the shades now. This one is the shade Garnet. I love the packaging as well. It just feels like really quality, really expensive. And it's really sleek as well. It's just really nice. I'm a bit of a packaging whore. I love my packaging to be like classy. It's part of the experience for me. And just, you know, the artwork on this one, just absolutely gorgeous. It's one of the things that, that drew me to the palette there. So I really enjoyed playing with this one. As I said, just before I hopped off camera to do my mascara and lips, I am filming a bit more in the week before work and then editing at the weekends. And that's hopefully going to enable me to get three or four videos up a week, which I think is kind of my sweet spot for getting some quality content out there, but not driving myself crazy with working so hard and not having any time for myself. So I hope that's okay with you guys. This week I'm definitely going to be filming with the Jeffree Star Conspiracy and Mini Controversy palettes and I've also already pre-filmed, who am I, a uh, Thursday, Throwback Thursday video. So I'm excited to see what you think of that one because that one's a bit of an unusual look that I've done in that one. So, so yeah, that's pretty much going to be this week. So hope you guys have had a nice weekend and I hope you're excited for the week ahead. 
thank you so much for watching and if you're new to my channel i'd love it if you would consider subscribing before you go but that's it for this one catch you in the next one guys bye